But welcome to my town. It's not the best, it's not the most exciting, but there are still plenty of things to do for a loser like me. So I work a lot of night shifts, and usually after my last shift I like to keep myself awake, and I'll go into town and I'll just buy loads of random gaming stuff. So I figured, why not bring you along? So I apologise for the shaky camera. I know it looks like it's been attached to the collar of a dog. But anyway, without further ado, let's go! So fun fact, my town is very old, and at the base of that steeple is where they used to burn those who were accused of witchcraft hundreds of years ago. So the first place we're visiting is Kex. It might actually be pronounced Sex, but I don't know, we'll just go with Kex on this occasion. If you can avoid the overwhelming amount of junkies in this place, who are selling their stolen goods, no offence. This shop's actually pretty good for second hand stuff, and in my case especially PlayStation 2 games which go very cheap in here. And here's a place you can find in most towns and cities in Scotland, and it's one of my favourite places, and it's the Warhammer Games Workshop. I stop in here nearly every week, even when I'm not looking for anything in particular, because it's a really welcoming atmosphere and you get a nice chat with the guys. And then who can forget Game, which is a UK equivalent to GameStop, or something like that. I'm really good friends with some of the people who work here, and I have been since high school, and I'm sad to see that it's fallen in hard times, much like GameStop in the US. And as I was just strolling about town, I noticed this place was opening up soon, and it's called Legion Forge. And after being nosy and asking the guys inside, I was really happy to find out it's going to be another gaming store. Primarily focusing on Warhammer and Dungeons and Dragons and other community based things, so I'm really looking forward to this one opening. My town's been hit really hard by the current state of the world and the economy and things like that, but it's really nice to see that there's a lot of small businesses opening up everywhere. Like this place, Geek Gamers for example. This place is great, it's got everything. It's got a huge store, upstairs there's a massive arcade, there's loads of community, trading card tables, and even a cafe. So yeah, as you can see there's nothing really special about my town, but it has got its charm and there's plenty of things for someone like me to do. So yeah, back home now I'll just show you some of the stuff I picked up. So first up from that Geek Gamer store I got this Icon of the Realms figurine. And this is an Elf Druid, and yeah it's a little bit expensive you can probably tell, but I like to support my local business so I don't mind too much. So this is far better quality than the last Dungeons and Dragons random box figurine that I got. And then from the Warhammer Games Workshop is the Citadel Painting Handle. Just a little thing, but from what I hear these are really helpful when you're painting miniature figurines. So as you can see you just clip the figure on the top and it gives you a better angle when you're painting. The figure here is a Mines of Moria Dwarf Ranger I believe. So next up, a couple of Switch games that I got from the game store. So I think I spent about half an hour talking to the staff in the other day. And it's very rare that I leave without buying something. We've got Remothered Broken Porcelain. And this is just another survival horror game. And I mean it is October so it is relevant I guess. And then we have War Conflicts Collection. And I mean, I quite like this on the 360, but the only reason I really bought it was because it was only about £6. There's far better aerial combat games out there, but you can't really argue with that price. So nothing too exciting in terms of Switch games. But from Kex, aka Sex, I've got a couple of PS2 games as well. Got Red Faction 2, which is a pretty good game. Call of Duty 3. Dynasty Warriors 2. And Call of Duty 2.
A couple of good games in there, and as I said, you get PlayStation 2 games really cheap from the store. I mean, 50 pence, 1 pound, you can't really argue with that at all. And next up we have the highlight of today's little haul, The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowinds for the PC. I mean, I've owned this game in many forms, but I've never actually owned this little complete edition of it. And for the £4 that I paid, not too bad at all. So inside you get the instruction manual. And this brilliant map of Vardenfell. Altogether a really good bundle and for a great price. You all know my opinion on the Elder Scrolls, so I'm glad to have this in my collection. And last up, just another little thing that I got from the Warhammer Games Workshop. And that's this Age of Sigmar Starters magazine. And it even comes with an Age of Sigmar Warhammer figure. As you can see, nothing too exciting, but I just thought I'd share my little town and a little pickup video, just for no reason at all really. And I'm glad to just bolster my Switch and PS2 collection a little bit. As you can see, it's starting to look really nice. Each shelf is two tiers, so it has another row of games behind what you can see here as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And with Halloween just around the corner, I added these little ghost lights, because I have the mentality of a child, clearly. But anyway, thanks for stopping by for my little blog. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to check out some of my proper videos. Until next time, see ya!